On today's Arduino tutorial, we're going to be working with servo motors and potentiometer knobs. So let's get started. A servo motor is a motor that, unlike uh, traditional DC motors that spin just uh, one direction and then back, uh, a servo motor can be told what point in the degrees that it that you want it to turn to so you have a lot more accuracy with a servo motor. This is a 80 degree servo motor so I can give it a range from 0 to 180 or I guess it would be 0 to 179 I have to check that but uh, you can give it any point in that degree of angles and it will go straight to it. Um, servo motor has three wires it has a ground and a positive and then a data cable ground is usually black and the, the, the voltage is usually uh, red. The data cable could be different colors. Uh, this one here is white. I have one over here, basically the same motor, but it has uh, actually brown for the ground, which is unusual, and orange for the data. Um, so what we're going to do today is take this servo motor, hook it to the Arduino board, along with this potentiometer knob. This potentiometer knob is, as we turn it, it will send a digital signal to the Arduino board, and the Arduino board will relay that to the servo motor. So the number of degrees we turn this knob, it will also turn the motor to that degree. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the potentiometer knob, which has three pins on it. It's going to have uh, the outer pins are going to, uh, and your voltage, while the center pin is your uh, your data. And uh, usually these are labeled. Mine is not really labeled, uh, but I do know that this far one to the right is my positive. So I'm going to put this into my board right here, all three pins, and try not them too much. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Arduino board and I'm going to hook, <coughs> I'm going to take a red wire and I'm going to go from the 5 volts here on the board to the 5 volt pin on the potentiometer knob. Now I'm going to take um, the ground, I'll take this black ground wire and I will put this into the ground on the board, and then this to the ground on the potentiometer, which is the pin all the way to the left there. I am now going to take this yellow cable, and I'm going to put this into analog zero. This is going to be reading the information from the potentiometer knob, and I'm going to connect that to the center pin on the uh, potentiometer here on my breadboard. There we go. So now we got where we can get power to the potentiometer knob and read the information from it. Um, now, we're going to hook up our servo motor. And uh, servo motors usually have little connectors like this, uh, and you can get adapters for them, cut them. I'm just going to, in this case, uh, put some wires in there. So I'm going to put a red wire right in there. These are just wires with a little... Uh, a bit of the wire hanging out there so I can shove them in there. I'm going to put a black to my ground here and I'll use this orange cable for my data. So I'll show you that real quick right like that. I just connected the wires like so. So now I can take this ground, I'm going to put that into a empty ground pin on my Arduino here uh, which would be right here because there's two ground pins on the far side of the board. Now, I don't have another 5 volt because I'm not using uh, my proto shield. I can just take this uh, 5 volts and connect it here on the 5 volts on my uh, breadboard and just use the 5 volts that's also going into the potentiometer knob. Now I'm going to take um, my data cable from my uh, servo motor and I'm going to hook that into pin digital 9. And the reason I'm using pin digital 9 is because the default example for uh, servo motors with knobs uses pin 9, although you could use other pins as well. Now I'm going to take my 9 volt battery pack. I will hook that in and turn it on. And now, as I turn my knob here, you can hear 
the motor turning. Let me put a little adapter on there so you can actually see the motor turning. Now when you get a servo motor, it usually comes with a bag full of little, uh, little attachments for it, depending on what you want to use it for. So I am going to just snap one on, I'm not going to screw it on. There we go. Now as I turn this knob over here, you can see the motor turning corresponding with my turns on the knob. A full 180 degrees. Let's take a moment and look at the code for this uh, project. I have opened up the Arduino software here and I'm going to go to File, Examples, and I'm going to go down to Servo, and I'm going to choose Knob. And this is the example code for the project which is built. This includes, is going to include the, uh, the module file for the servo motors. This takes out a lot of the work that you have to do to get a servo motor work. Somebody has already put that together for you to keep your, your code short. Um, here we're going to create a ser servo object. So we're saying this is a servo object and we're going to call it my servo, although you can call it pretty much anything you want within reason. Uh, then we're going to create some object variables here. Uh, pot pin zero, that's going to be our analog pin that we're going to be grabbing information from the potentiometer. And uh, then we're going to create uh, this just variable, which is going to be the uh, number that uh, we get from the potentiometer knob. Void step, this will run once. This is saying that the servo motor is attached to pin nine. So that will run once when you start up the program. So when you start up the board, and then we'll go through our loop here. In the loop, we're going to use the variable that we created up here, val, and the value is going to equal uh, the read that we get from pop pin, which we have established as analog pin zero. So basically, this is going to this loop is going to constantly be reading the information from pin zero, which is our potentiometer knob. Now. Uh, it's going to take the value that we get from that and put it through this process to get us a number between 0 and 180. So basically it's taking the information from the analog pin, which can be anywhere from 0 to 1023, and it's doing the math to figure out uh, that it should be zero from 0 to 180, uh, which is actually 0 to 179. Then we're going to take that output, val, value, and we're going to write it to our servo motor. So we have our servo motor here. We're going to write, and we're going to write that value. And we already established that our servo motor is attached to pin 9. And then it will wait uh, 15, which is uh, a very short amount of time. <laughs> it's, it's a fraction of a second. And so it's going to be doing this loop very fast over and over again. It's going to read from the potentiometer knob, it's going to do the math to, to convert the values, and then it's going to write it to our motor, then it's going to wait and do it all again. So that's how this code works, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this one. Have a great day.